Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. .com. In this video, we'll demonstrate using expressions in initialization parameters introduced in Oracle 21C. These expressions can reference other parameters and environment variables. We display parameters containing the word processes. We see the processes parameter is set to 400 and the job queue processes parameter is set to 80. We set the job queue processes parameter using an expression based on the processes parameter. We use the max function to give us the maximum value out of the two input parameter values. We have the expression processes divided by 10 which is the value we want and then the minimum value we'll accept. So the full expression gives us processes divided by 10 but if that value is less than 10 we set the value to 10. We display the job queue processes parameter and we see it's set to 40 which is 400 divided by 10. We create a p file from the sp file. We fgrep the job queue processes parameter from the p file and we see the expression itself has been persisted so the relationship between the two values will be maintained. We set the processes parameter to 600 and restart the database. We display the job queue processes parameter and we see it's set to 60 which is 600 divided by 10. We can also reference environment variables when we set parameters. We display the value of the Oracle base environment variable. We display the value of the audit file desk parameter. We set the audit file desk parameter using the Oracle base environment variable and restart the database. And it works fine. We create a p file from the sp file. We fgrep the audit file desk parameter from the p file. And we see the environment variable has been persisted in the parameter definition. If we try to reference an environment variable that doesn't exist, we get an error. There are some things to keep in mind when using expressions and environment variables. When issued from the alter system or alter session commands, the expression must be enclosed in single quotes. When setting parameters, we have access to the min and max functions. They both accept two inputs and return the minimum and maximum values respectively. These aren't the same as the SQL functions by the same name. Environment variables must be set before instant startup and their values are read at that point only. Expressions can be used in a P file or an SP file. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.